The Joint Tax Force South South Operation Delta Save says about 3,878 illegal refining sites within its joint operation areas were destroyed in the last two years, making the Niger Delta environment more safe for multinationals and businesses. Immediate past commander of the OPDS, Rear Admiral Amino Hassan, made this known while handing over to Rear Admiral Eugenio Ferrara at the JTF headquarters in Yenegua. Meanwhile, the new commander of OPDS, Rear Admiral Eugenio Ferrara, called for concerted efforts in the fight against illegal refining to guarantee Nigerians' economic prosperity. The issue of pipeline vandalism has also reduced drastically. What the reports we are getting from the oil and gas operators and other stakeholders, the criminals are no longer tampering with their pipelines. Another area that we have achieved is the issue of mopping up of illegal weapons from the hands of the criminals. Because those weapons the criminals are having are the things, are the tools that are giving them the audacity to do what they are doing. We should even upscale the fact that so much has been achieved and the environment has been sanitized. It doesn't mean the elements out there have gone to sleep. The study of these activities pretend that they are very flexible and adaptive. They shift to other forms of crime. So we must be ahead. We must remain resolute. There is a collective strategic end state this country hopes to achieve, and that is economic prosperity. The operations of Operation Delta Safe is largely and interestingly linked towards the economic prosperity of this country. Therefore, our activities must be in line with the mandate handed down to the operations by higher command of the armed forces of Nigeria. No effort is to be spared towards achieving this mandate. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.